this video is for KBID 1013-046 How to remove or access a foreign aggregate An aggregate made out of orphan disks in cluster data on tap In cluster data on tap, when adding a shell from different cluster or a 7 mode system to a node Aggregates on that shelf will be flagged as a foreign and the drives belonging to the aggregates as for orphan disks as a result, these aggregates are visible only when using the node shell. It is not supported to access the foreign volumes inside these aggregates on the cluster data on tap system to which these shelves have been migrated. But it is supported to remove the foreign aggregates, turning relevant drives into unzeroed spares. We just added the two disks to this one from the other system. Let's take a look at it. So you can see um, this is the local class name and um, this is the um, the ownership of, uh, of the disk and the disk. So, which means it's not belonging to the local node. So, if you want to use these two disks on the local node, you have to assign to the local node first. So, let's do that. Then, let's take a look at these two disks. So, you can see the ownership of these two disks. They are belonging to the local node right now, and um, there's uh, aggregates on these two disks, which is called agger underscore kbtv. But can we see it in the cost shell? Let's take a look at it. No, we don't have it. Then uh, let's take a look at the no shell. Yes, we can see it. It's called agar underscore kbtv and it's offline and it's foreign and it's degraded. Before we destroy the aggregate, we have to enable the agar destroy command first. Now agar is destroyed. In data on tab 8.3 and later, there's a cluster shell command agar remove stale record can help you to remove these type of aggregates without getting to the no shell. Thanks for watching KBTV.